think it's the greatest load of pumps and wumps. All the Americans are over here. Oh my God, I love this. I love Ireland. They doing my... <laughs> I'm telling you, I hate it. Castle. We were going to be getting on a boat heading to the Ennis Fallen fall, Fallen Ennis 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 Fallen Ennis Fallen Island. I know we're not pronouncing it correctly, but it's something like that, and it's way out that way somewhere, old monastery. Today we are on a boat taking us to Innis Fallon Island. The boats run during the summer months and leave a dock near Ross Castle. We purchased our tickets online and they cost about 15 euros each. This gives you about an hour and a half to explore the island. All right, so we're at Innis Fallon Island, but I, I'm not pronouncing it right. In a fall, something like that. That's what they actually call it. So there's ruins here from like a thousand years ago. And uh, we're gonna go check this out. There's supposed to be deer and such wandering around here. That's really the only residents that are on this island at this point. Uh, we're in, near the Killarney Lake, which is behind us right now, I believe. So we, uh, I took a Uber in <laughs> Russia that wasn't actually my Uber and got a ride where I was going. I think we just got on a boat that didn't wasn't booked for us <laughs> and we still got here so looking forward to checking this out in this fallen island i think this is an old monastery look how green it is here oh look over here sure if i ask i can figure out what this is i'm assuming it's some sort of church or old chapel since there's sort of an old cross in here with a, with a rosemary on it we didn't burst in flames and mrs g is in here so of course there's no roof lets all the heat out i'm sure it's slightly painted. you better leave a <laughs> you got a euro on you i don't how much is that one what one 50 <laughs> That's not 50 euros, right? Yeah. Half a euro? <laughs> Half a euro. All right, we're putting a euro there. I need that for good luck. This is beautiful. Amazing. Mm, to think how old these rocks, these structures, I'm sure older than our entire country. Pretty incredible. Let's wander around the island and see what's here. Innis Fallen Island is located within the Loch Lean in the Killarney National Park in County Kerry. The island is about 21 acres and is home to the ruins of the Innis Fallen Abbey. The remains of these structures are some of the oldest in Ireland. It is truly impressive how preserved these stone walls are and is a grand testament to the superb craftsmanship of the monks that once lived here. The monastery was founded in the year 640 by St. Finian and was occupied by monks for approximately 950 years.
there was an oratory built in the 12th century, and in the 13th century, the abbey was expanded and a small church was also constructed. The island was ideally suited to the life of solitude, prayer, and reflection sought after by the monks of that time. It is still a very peaceful, almost spiritual place. You really get a sense of what life would have been like for the monks as you wander the island. It is believed the Irish High King Brian Baru received his education at the Innisfallen Abbey during the 9th century. Brian Baru is said to be the Irish leader that put an end to the invasions by the Vikings. The monks were dispossessed of the Abbey on August 18, 1594 by Elizabeth I. The only residents here these days are numerous species of birds, including a pair of white-tailed eagles and the small Sitka deer. We were lucky enough to find the deer grazing on the backside of the abbey. It is believed the deers were brought to the island sometime during the 19th century. Phil Mrs. G. Taking a tumble. And then a silent tumble. Through the trees, we spotted the other small church perched on a nearby hilltop, so we headed up to explore a bit. We believe this is the oratory. If not, the first small church we saw is the oratory, but there was nothing that distinguished which was which. They are both remarkable. The surrounding views from up here were simply brilliant, as you can see most of the island and the emerald green vegetation. Hey look, Mrs. G, it's pennies for Ireland. <laughs> Our time on the island is almost over, so we take a quick hike to the other side to take in some of the spectacular views. This is definitely one of the most beautiful, peaceful places we have ever visited. Is just, just listen. All the birds, all the, just birds singing. That's all you hear. And me chit chat. Some deer scurrying by. And the moss, the moss here. Look at this. These trees are incredible. It's so green. Just amazing. Feel, oh, feel that. That's a, amazing. It's like perfect. 
Super soft. Feels like a chihuahua. It does. Green love. Is that what they call that? Green love? Yes. Oh. If I lived here, I could wipe my hiney on that. Yeah, a couple moss bugs up in the <laughs> Are there moss bugs? Yeah. Uh-oh. I, I don't want no moss bugs. Well, it's about time to leave in this fallen island. What an absolutely amazing place. It seems like there's places like this all over Ireland. Maybe not on an island, but so much history. Time to get back on the boat.